Tina was a teenager at that time, leading veterans. So when somebody says, Raila made me, nobody would have known me. Just because you are ignorant and you can't read and you have not done your research, you can't blame Miguna for your ignorance. Number two, to appoint somebody a senior advisor and your chief strategist means the guy is knowledgeable, the guy is competent. Out of 40 million Kenyans, whom did he choose? He could have chosen Esther Pasaris. Did he choose Esther Pasaris as his advisor? Mm. He chose Miguna. Okay. Miguna worked as his advisor. Thirdly, lastly, mm -hmm. so I reported what happened at the Pentagon. What kind of a betrayal is that? I told the truth. Let Esther say it did not happen. She was not there. She can't speak about things she did not know. She emerged from nowhere that is she Mama Supu. She's selling beauty. She thinks beauty gives you credibility and integrity to go for leadership. Mm. Esther Pasaris is nothing but a flower girl. Esther, I'm going to give you one minute to respond real quick. Yeah. You're oh, a he says you know, you're a flower girl. Let me tell you something. I live Nairobi. On his website, I'm told he says he's going to light... He's going to be the light of Nairobi. As far as I'm concerned, Nairobi is already lit. The guy is absolutely ignorant. He comes here and he thinks he can bash everybody. By the way, have you received an email from my lawyer? Um, have you received an email from my lawyer? Why don't you ask your lawyer? Okay, here is the no, letter. Why don't you? Why don't, here is no, the letter no, no, no. served. So, I'm suing him for defamation. For what? For what? Because he calls me cartels. You know, yes, I, I, just cartel. hope, I just hope he has enough Esther, money. You're a cartel. You I just it. hope I just hope he has enough money to pay everybody that will sue him. Are you suing or he has good are, enough are you suing furniture Medina? that we can auction him. Are you suing yes, him? Yes, definitely. For what? What did because, he say? Let me tell you something. He put an advert on the on the Twitter handle saying that we are all cartels. The thieves is going to deal with the thieves. He's going to deal with the drug dealers. I mean, you don't need to stand out by bashing people. If you have a vision for Nairobi, speak about it. Why do you need to step on everybody else? I mean, at the end of the day, you're in this city, and the governor of this city is Kidero. And if you, if you have issues with him, then let that be the side. Focus on the issues. I mean, let me tell you something. Is that a I question? Took, hold on. I thought this oh, was a session me. for questions. No, you. no, she's making it's, a statement. No, is that a question? She's making a statement. I don't have a no, question no. for you. You said... And you I hope either, you take this I, because it's served. No. Yes, I, it is I don't served. Know. I don't care about that. You should. Because you lose all your cases. So what, what if you Let me you tell you me? something. You can sue me ten times. It doesn't matter. This is a man. But can I respond? Yes. Let me respond. Oh. Esther Pasaris... Well. On the 26th of October, 2005, oh, wow. you are named in Parliament as having obtained a contract to adopt a light and procedurally. Esther Pasaris, because you asked for it, so you are very corrupt. In fact, <laughs> your files, I've done research on you, mm -hmm. your files in City Hall stink to the high heavens. Mm. Number two, you asked for it. I, I, look, you know Let what? It's fantastic. It's fantastic. You He's talk. just building Let my case. Respond. He's building my case. Let me respond, Esther Pasari, because you asked Continue. for it on live TV. I need it. I need it. Yes, you need yes, it. Exactly. And you will Continue. get it. Continue you will defaming get it. me. You will get it, Continue Esther Pasari. Esther Pasari is on the 27th of December. How do you know all these days? 2007, because I was there with her at the Pentagon House, in the impending days when Raila's victory was almost certain, you announced to the gathering that after Raila is inaugurated, you will take 30 days sex holiday in Sichuan. Sex A holiday? A woman sex holiday. who has absolutely no integrity, a socialite bimbo, whose only claim to fame is because she is looking for billionaire sponsors. Yesterday, it was Mwangi of Equity. The other day, it was Gichuru of the former uh, electricity um, uh, Kenya Power, crying for a man to marry you because you believe that the man promised to marry you, and for that reason, you took a man to court. Ooh. Esther Pasaris, you can sue me a million times and it would not bother me. Oh. <laughs> on that note, on that note,
Esther, I'm going to have you respond after the break. We're going to have to take a break. And that's a disclaimer, by the way. I, well, the views are those of the guests, not mine, not KTN, nobody. Goodness gracious me. Miguna. A revolutionary. You don't play with revolutionaries. I guess, clearly. If you try. Keep tweeting. Keep tweeting. At Miguna Miguna. And as the Pasaris at Koinanga Jeff, the hashtag race for Nairobi. Or, if you prefer, Miguna. Drain the swamp. And it will be drained dry. <laughs> and then cleaned. And then made productive. Are you our Trump? Well, I'm better than Trump. Trump is my student. <laughs> Joking again. Live at the Villa Rosa Kempinski. Revolutionary. Takes a break. We'll and I be don't back. take bites from mosquitoes like Esther. <laughs> we'll be back in a moment. Break. Break. And welcome back to Jeff Kunange, live at the Villa Rosa Kempinski on this Politics 101 Wednesday. And I tell you, if you're just joining us on KTN Home and KTN News, the show is literally on fire. Twitter is a flame. We're going to go straight to the tweets because Miguna Miguna and Esther Pasares are in the house and they're literally going at each, other, at each other's throats. Ian Kenyon, you say Esther Pasares can't stand Miguna's heat. She just rattled a snake. Kibuya and Joroge, you say, so what? This statement has no limbs or legs. Last I checked, this was not criminal, whatever that means, okay? Frederick Okango, you say, oh my God, protect Esther Pesares from Miguna Miguna. This is going south. And then, Agindo O. Nicholas, you say, Miguna will never even a cat never even be a cattle dip chairman. I'm sorry you have no room in Nairobi. Woo, I tell you. <laughs> Esther Pas Roderick, you say Esther Pasaris is going to scratch someone. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, folks, keep tweeting at Miguna Miguna at Esther Pasaris at Kunanga Jeff. By the way, I must mention at this point, I had invited all the gubernatorial candidates for Nairobi. Two showed up. The other nine, well, they chose not to, which is fine. Show must go on, and it is, and we're going on. We're going to get to issues right now because I have notes, actually, on the issues affecting Nairobi County, everything from corruption to unemployment, traffic, education, which they both mentioned at the top of the show. But I have to give Esther Posaris just one minute, one minute, to respond to the... That means you're going to give her twice. I did not ask Miguna, any Miguna, questions. Miguna, you, you mentioned I, the I sex not holiday. Ask, but I did not ask any questions. No, but she has to she, respond. No, you're wasting you're time. Now attacked. you're wasting time. No, I'm going to allow you. Okay. But, but you are not being You fair. refused to ask a question directly. You yeah, asked Kidero. I, I, I didn't think it was, a, it was relevant. So now she asked yeah. you. Yeah. Pasaris, go. Okay. I mean, the thing is, he is so full of rumors and rumors and rumors. All right? First of all, before he starts feeling the mask of everyone else, he should feel, up his, feel his own mask. For me, I feel he has no respect for women, and 50% of the voters in this city are women, okay? They said um, the same thing about Trump. No, the thing is, let me tell you something. Pulling he has something in... He has something... Card will not excuse work. me, I thought you were a gentleman, but obviously you're you not. You have Can no you support from quiet? women. All right. You are the most Do unpopular me... woman in this city. You don't know that? Okay. Well, I'm telling you today. Let me tell you something, Miguna. You, you are basically not... chased away from ODM screaming by women. Okay, you know... You forgot that? Let me tell... Can ODM you just... women chase you away, Okay, Miguna, Esther. Miguna, Miguna let, her, let her talk. You Go have ahead. absolutely zero support Miguna, from let women. Her talk. Okay, okay let me tell you something. First of all, let's get back to the lighting, which he says Parliament did whatever they did. In case he doesn't know, I have a commendation, Order of the Golden Warrior, on my, on my, <laughs> from the government of Kenya for lighting up Nairobi. So I was recognized by the president... Kibaki for actually lighting up Nairobi. He has no commendation whatsoever. And in, another thing is, I have never raped anyone, okay? I think he should look at himself and what he stands for before he starts accusing and uh, attacking everyone Everybody else. Everybody is raping right? you, Pasari. Everybody is raping you. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Everybody wants to rape you, Pasari. Oh. You are so beautiful. Everybody wants to rape oh. Pasari. Miguna, Miguna, okay. You know, let me tell you she something. brought it. She mentioned let me tell it. You, let me, let me tell Who you wants to I'm going to have to use my extinguisher, folks, but let's she get to issues. Now. Can we get to issues? Yes, let's get to issues. Let's get to issues. Let's get to issues. Miguna, corruption in yes. Nairobi County, ghost workers, tenderpreneurs, Kanjo Kingdom. What are you going to do about it? Tell us real quick. Okay. Um, first of all, this woman is very, very corrupt. All right? 
and I'm going to deal with corrupt people, including her. Because the thing she calls commendations, her company is just a private company doing business, being paid to do get business. Get to the point, Miguna. I'll get to the point. The first thing I will do, and it is documented in the manifesto, the only man with the manifesto in the city, is to do a forensic audit of everyone. All right? That was done by Christia already. No, no, let me finish. Okay, let me finish and let me finish my part. Kesia cannot do anything. It's not qualified to do anything. A forensic audit by a professional forensic auditor, which has nothing to do with the government, completely equidistant. Once so you do that, once you part. do that. Once I do that, we would identify all the fake contracts, all the cartels, all the corrupt government officers, all the money that have been stolen, we will then present the evidence to the DPP for arrest of these people. Because you see, the problem with Kenya right now is that the ESCC is not doing its job. Mm. The ESCC has been captured by the cartels. The police is not doing its job. The DPP then waits for these investigative agencies to bring the evidence. The court waits for the, the files after people have been charged to prosecute. But the files have been mangled and the evidence is not adequate. So why are you taking so, it to the DPP then? Because in terms of prosecution, the DPP has the constitutional mandate to prosecute. And if nothing is the, done? If nothing is done, well, Kenyans would know that I am doing something because, number one, the people that would be working for City Hall, who have not been fired, would be fired. The properties that have been acquired illegally, there is an authority, a constitutional legal authority, that is supposed to be repossessing land, for example.